What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Springdale with our Let's Play Season 4, Episode number 22. And we're going to do a couple more episodes this season. This week's schedule is a little bit different. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. There won't be any live streams uh, this week, unfortunately. I really like doing the live streams, and it's it's been fun to do that again. But this week's schedule just isn't going to work out. So there will be new Let's Plays Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well as sort of a season finale on Monday, because I do want to pick up um, kind of a new city and do a very different build um, for the start of May. So um, we will be saving this one. We will be returning to Springdale. We will be returning to Santa Rico and Rockdale and Springdale and, and all the different cities, uh, Springwood. I'm trying to think of all the different ones. I do want to revisit some of my older cities, kind of see how my design uh, has changed. They certainly look, I think, a lot better now than they used to. Uh, but we'll definitely be doing that. In the last episode, we hit 180,000, which is definitely my record. We're up to one. It was just 186 a second ago. Um, I think it was at least, unless I was imagining things. There we go. 186. We've got a bit of commercial demand and some industrial demand as well. So let's see where we can cram some of that in. This is all blocked off as residential and slowly filling in, as you can see. And then we've got some other residential pockets over here. So let's take a look at our zoning, see if we can address that first. And let's keep keep building this up. So I don't want to do any more commercial over here. I feel like it's not going to be well serviced. Um, it might be once we have a lot more residents move in over this way. But we've got to kind of find some spots for some commercial pockets here. This just got filled in with office space. What could we do? We could do some commercial up here. I think that might be all right. Maybe even connect a back street into the university district. I don't suspect that's going to generate a lot of traffic, but maybe some people will come back here to do some shopping. Um, let's see. We hadn't put the science center right there. Can we get a street in there? Let's see if we can do that. What are we doing? Tree line streets? In this part of town? Of course. Can I move that over one square? Looks like I can. Let's see. There. Science Center right on top of the, the stadium. Now we can get back here with the street. Excellent. I'm going to come out... 15 to give myself some room. Yeah, that's just enough. Just enough where we can get a full block back there. We can do some commercial on that pocket. Um, let's connect this up. Let's see, we'll do a street right here. Then one smack in the middle. Three blocks on one side, two on the other. I mean, it works enough. And let's leave that. We don't need it, but I'm going to keep this a residential block. And then we'll do commercial all over here. that hopefully that will fill out and hopefully that's close enough to these big pockets of residential we got a little pocket of commercial over here a little pocket down here we could use something up in this corner of the town and hopefully that will populate well i'm sure it'll populate well whether or not it stays in business is the question i guess so we'll we'll find that out soon enough it is starting to fill up that's good we're only on single time speed right now um i don't want things to get away from me just yet we could stand to find some more office park. Where can we put that? Let's look at our zoning over here. Got a big office park right there. Lots of office. We, I mean, we could do, I guess, some industry, but it generates a lot of truck traffic, and I'm not all about it. <laughs> I really want to reduce what we can for traffic. In fact, why don't we take a quick look? Quick look at traffic, 76%, it's it's not bad, it's not great. And there are definitely areas that we need to work on and getting more trucks on the road is not gonna help us, so. 
Still haven't finished our metro routes and things like that. It is very heavy around some of these major intersections. This strip right here is really bad. I should check my traffic lights at some point on that strip. Maybe we'll do a quick look at that right now. Just to make sure, because it's a lot of, looks like a lot of six lane, meaning six lanes, so there are going to be lights. But it's just a lot of traffic on this strip. Like, look at all those cars right there. Entire block of cars waiting. We don't have a lot of intersections with this road. And that could be part of the problem is that people are using it instead of turning off of it, right? That's okay. We'll leave, we'll leave it for now. So our commercial demand is dropping as that looks like it's filling out up here. Let's find a spot for something industry or office wise. Where can we cram a little in? We could get some administrative offices over here. Let's do a, gr a grass line street, maybe. Let's see. That works. Bring it right up to the highway. Maybe even sneak one in back here behind the, the recycling plant. Fill that in with some offices. Because, you know, if you have these industrial buildings, you're probably going to have some office space that's connected to it all. Let's just move this bus depot down one. And I don't think this should be zoned. It is not. Perfect. Double check our water coverage, actually. Come to think of it, because I don't know that is covered. But what about up here? A little bit of a dry spot. Let's sort that out before we forget. All the water buildings look like they're functioning. We've got water for days. Sewage is the thing that we'll need to worry about next. But coming along pretty good here. I think this has been uh, a fun build. I hope you've enjoyed it even half as much as I have. And uh, hopefully it will all have been worth it. So let's get this one emptying. Is this a six lane? This should probably be... At least a four-lane road to support some more traffic, but it is flowing, moving. But this seems like it's enough of a central artery for down here that we might want to have this support some more traffic. So maybe once this cemetery is emptied, we'll think about that. What is it at right now? Oh, it is. It was empty. Uh, okay, so hold on a second. Let's turn it off for a minute. Let's think about this. So we've got a. What is this, a six-lane avenue that drops into a two-lane down here? That might make sense to have that support more traffic. We've got this acting as a four-lane all the way down to the coast. Yeah, we could widen this road, but I think we should widen this one. This one's going to require us to move quite a few things around, so let's do that. Well, we've got a moment. Let's pause it. Get the fire station out of here. I think we're going to have to move. We're going to have to move Market Street. Old Market Street. Is that what this thing's called? Let's move that. I did want to make that look a little better at some point. It was just kind of slapped in at an odd angle. We've got some footpaths through here. Let's see, what else are we going to have to move? The Fantastic Fountain. That can't be there if we're going to... Widen our road. Come on. Here we go. Okay. So I think that everything will have to move. I think that it is. So let's go, because see, this is a little, it's a little heavy. 
Let's upgrade to a four lane here. Four lane, the nice thing about that, it's got a different look and feel. It um, will force upgrade. Um, it'll force that center median, which does divert traffic flow a little bit. People can't turn left across the median. They have to turn at intersections and double back. But it also allows us to, if we wanted to, upgrade these to six lane roads later. I don't think that we'll need to. What is it not letting me move? The crematorium. A little windy through there. What is already occupying this space? Is it the high school that it won't let me? Oh, I hope it's not the metro. That's going to stink if it's the metro. It was not the metro. That's the good thing. Okay, so let's bring the high school back. Let's, if we can. Looks like we can't. That's too bad. Can we get it on here? Can we get on this curve? I have to knock out one house to do it. If we put it right here. Close enough. I didn't realize at the time how distinct these cliffs were going to be because of the slope that way and kind of putting the roads perpendicular to it. Not so bad here, right? But when you get these streets really close together and there's a steep slope, you get these ridiculous cliff edges. I mean, which does happen in real life, right? You, you build neighborhoods into certain parts of terrain and, and things like this happens. But it certainly looks nicer if you can smooth it out a bit. And unfortunately, there's not too much we can do the landscaping at this point to smooth that out because it's kind of fixed the height that you have between the two. Now you could come down here and smooth the shore out, right? If you wanted to do that, which I think does give it a nicer look on the shore especially, but it would have required a lot of terrain modification before we ever put those roads in. So if it really bothers us down the road, we can always completely blow out this, uh, this area, start from scratch, but I think it's okay. It's really kind of up to you what what it looks like and what is uh, aesthetically pleasing. I don't think it's. I mean, I don't think it's ugly, but it's not not the prettiest. I also don't like that this house got repeated like 18 times in a row. Kind of weird. Be nice if they had some more objects. Those are definitely very futuristic. What are we in 2046? I wonder if when the houses get built, that matters what their uh, appearance looks like. Or if they just kind of upgrade. I, I really can't believe I haven't noticed that yet, but I would assume that these houses are a lot different from, from the 2019 when we start. Uh, Demand-wise, we've actually got some residential demand cropping up, which we've got met over here, no problem. Residential for days. So we're good there. Let's go fix what happened down here. So is this light commercial or low, low density commercial? We'll go fix this and then maybe we'll work some office space into this to meet some of that demand. So along this main avenue, let's do that. Since that is our big demand right now, we'll put that all along this street. And rework some of this just a bit. I'm not sure why it overlets you overlap some of those zones it doesn't seem like that should be a buildable space considering that building is getting built right now okay it's getting upgraded something so where is this 
Let's do that. All down this strip, we're going to have office space. And that should fill up pretty quick. In fact, let's change that over. Let's delete that because I think we'll throw our old market back over here for now. See what we did with those footpaths. Fully broke them. Yeah, that works. Um, a little sloppy in here. What footpaths did we use? Just regular cement footpaths? I feel like I used a park path or something. What is this one? It is a park path. Literally called a park path. <laughs> Let's upgrade these, just because they look like the build, the uh, the path that goes through here. And then let's connect this up. We can. Just so people have some other ways to get there on foot. This is all going to meet our office demand, the industry demand. Well, not all of it. Some of it. Let's hit play. Let's go three times speed. Let's see what that does. We're still growing. Residential demand just dropped off. We've still got a demand for industrial. A tiny little clip of uh, commercial. Pop that there for now. Oh, we've got to move all these back. I forgot about that. So this is the uh, Santa Rico Memorial for all, all the horrible disasters that happened over there. Where should this go? We'll throw it right here for now. What we want to worry about more is the police coverage that, and fire coverage that we moved out of there. So we were actually pretty good down there. Let's go ahead and throw this right by this main intersection. If they'll let me do it without overwriting that building that just moved in, that would be preferable. Thanks, game. Then we'll throw police coverage right there next to it. We had another firehouse down there somewhere. I don't really know where we needed it. It looks like we've got good coverage. The zoo, obviously. Fire trap. As is... Central Park and the Amusement Park. I don't know why these buildings are not serviceable by anything. Look at the crowds. Holy cow. Let's see what we're doing here. The time to bump these ticket prices up. Uh, park area info. 40,000 visitors since we rebuilt the main gate. That's crazy. Entertainment is off the chart. Attractiveness is pretty good. Maintenance we're on top of. We're making a lot more money than we're spending, and that's with the default ticket prices. So, I mean, we don't need the money, but we could bump that up. It looks like we've got a fair number of people wandering around our park. I think this is the busiest that I've seen it. Go check it out. We'll do the dough. It is Springdale, after all. A lot of people walking around, doing their thing here, enjoying the rides. They all in queue? Excuse me? I would like to ride, please? Oh, you can legit ride on it. Whoop! Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get in. We can't get into the haunted house, I'm pretty sure, right? You can't get into any buildings. Just stop us right here. Looks pretty creepy. What else we got? We get the tower drop here. Is that it? Do you get one drop and you gotta get off? Okay. 
That makes a little more sense. Couple, couple, couple trips up and down. But the game booths, I never saw. The game booths are pretty inactive right now. Doesn't look like there's any prizes to be had. There we go. I'm not sure what uh, what kind of games these are. The floating cylinders, but... Hey, there's Chirpy. What up, Chirpy? These coin games are such a ripoff. Stay away from these people. Stay away. Oh, there's our giant roller coaster. I love I love Park Life for the, the aspect, especially on consoles, where you can walk around and experience it. Like it makes the makes the city feel so much more alive. You have people out doing their thing. What is this? Hyper oh Hypergate is the um Hypergate is the name of the roller coaster I see. So that is doing well. Excellent. We've got our cemetery block. Park maintenance and all the body storage. Over here we've got our recycling centers for the city, or at least for most of it, for this half of it. Let's do a quick run through info views, and I mean quick. Let's just take a quick glance, see if we're missing anything. Electricity, we're good. Water, we're good. Fire safety. You can see where the uh, the edge of the map is plain as day, because we can't cover the trees that are outside of the map. But fire safety looks pretty good, except for, again, those, um... Oh, we've got a little fire station up here. Not a big one. Campus. Maybe we upgrade it? Because we don't want a massive fire, um... Let's see. Can we put it on the outer ring? Tuck it in right... Right there? Does that... Does that work? I think it does. I'd like to think that this little station could cover everything, but doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Police coverage is probably going to be in the same boat, although this is a little closer to that side. They have to come down and around, so I would imagine we're going to have the same problem. Crime coverage is a little light over there, so let's do the same thing. We will demo this and do a bigger police station on the outer ring. That works. And that should cover a little bit better into this corner. Right? Shouldn't it? Didn't it used to show you the green coverage of the roads when it came to police? Am I missing something here? Did it glitch out on me? Because I thought it was showing it before. All right. Well, we can look at it by building color, and building color, it seems, pretty good throughout most of the map. Healthcare-wise... Healthcare, everybody's pretty healthy in this city. Got a fire, because, you know, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be an episode of any of my series if something didn't burst into flames. Looks like they're right on top of putting that one out, though. So that is good. Scanning through. Healthcare coverage, good. Death care coverage? Little light down here. Oh, I didn't move that cemetery back. That's why we're a little light down there. Fix that real quick. Hopefully I will remember to turn it back on also. We, it would be too nice if we could get it in there, huh? We're in that space. Looks totally fine. I guess we'll I guess we'll do that. Had a tiny little piece there that wasn't watered. For the most part, we're in pretty good shape. Now, the thing that I love right now, we've got next to no pop-ups on the map. So we need some workers over here. Let's see what else is happening. Need some more customers over here? Or is that that can't be educated workers, is it? 
one's complaining. Not enough educated workers. We have a very highly educated population. But, with the exception of a couple people that have died over here, like, there's no... There's no major problems that we're dealing with. Fire, of course. But nothing that won't go away the next time a hearse zips by some of these houses. In fact, there it is right there. Icon just went away. They picked up the body. I'll take care of that. So we're in really good shape for 187,000 people. No, no major problems. Looks like garbage roads are a little slow through a couple spots. As I say that, those start popping up. But we've got a pretty good distribution of where people are living versus where they're willing to go to work. We've got a tiny little pocket of industry over here. We've got office and commercial spread out all over. Mostly high density residential in the main city. And then we've got a little pocket of low density over here on the coastline. I do wish that I could expand beyond the nine tiles on console, but hey, you do what you can with it. Have some fun with it and we'll move on to the next map. Um, actually planning, let me uh, let me tell you a little bit about the schedule. If you made it this far, you probably care. So this week, again, I think I mentioned at the top of the video, no streams. Um, just not going to work out in the schedule, unfortunately, this week. But we will get back to the streaming next week. So stay tuned for that. This week, you can expect episodes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Of course, this being the Monday episode. There will be episodes Wednesday and Friday. And then I'm planning a little bit of a... A season finale or a season pause for Springdale um, since we've done a ton of stuff with this city I do want to move on and do some different projects talk about some different design concepts maybe you start to revisit the how-to series so the uh, unofficial season finale will be next Monday that'll be episode number 25 we'll do some flybys and fancy cinematics maybe take a look more at the city at night and uh, that will remind me why I hate those four-lane roads because they have different colored lights than all the other roads but it'll be good to see this city at night, kind of take a fly through it. And then we'll put Springdale on hold for just a little bit while we um, maybe pick up a new a new season. I was thinking about a mountain build, thinking about a snowfall build, an island build. And there's comments that have been supporting all those different concepts. So I think it'd be fun to do something much more loose, less gritty, um, gritty and gritty both. So, you know, we'll do kind of a, a smaller smaller town whether it's in the snow um on a you know mountain or maybe on a, a chain of islands so we'll come up with something fun and we will be saving this one we'll be coming back to it so don't worry there's uh, what three more episodes of springdale to come and we will uh, hopefully leave it in a good spot where we can pick it up again and continue to see it grow i'd love to see us get to 200,000 this uh this season it again is already a record for me at I think 179 was my previous record. We we hit 180. We're at 187. We're still growing. We've got to find some uh, some pockets, and we've got some places we could zone some stuff off over here as demand crops up. So hopefully these residential neighborhoods will start to fill out a little bit more. I could tuck some additional streets to to get some more density in here, right? We could probably fit a street on that block. Definitely fit a street on that block. Um, so we'll we'll keep cramming stuff in, keep meeting the demands as they crop up. But uh, but yeah, so three more episodes this season. No streams this week, I apologize. Just not going to work out in the schedule. But if you did stay tuned this long, hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button. Comments and shares help a lot as well and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. And we'll see you on Wednesday for the next Let's Play. Until then, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.